days like that's that's a lot of liquid but I don't drink the top one here so do we compare it to eight liters What's up guys? It is currently negative 14 outside. It is freezing cold, but <laughs> that's why we let our drugs warm up, right? Anyways, so for this week's vlog, I plan on showing you guys a little bit more a week worth of things that I do in a day. We are currently 22 weeks out from the Natural Canadian Pro Qualifier. It just, it's starting to feel a little bit more real. Training's gonna ramp up, gonna build up some good strength before we start cutting build up some good size, get some more food in, we're gonna keep eating and just keep training hard and keep lifting heavy. This week I'm gonna go see my girl Mercedes, yeah she works at Valentino's, if you ever are in the Durham area in Ontario, definitely go check out Valentino, she's great. So it's 8 o'clock, just on my way to work, gonna go play mechanic.
What's up? So these are my friends. These are axles. Plunge joints. Tripod joints. Goes in there. Goes attach. It's up in there. Front diff. It's your front axles. I'm gonna show you guys how I start a little bit of my vacuum training since we're close to 21 weeks out now. Today is Saturday. Three times a week starting vacuum training. That is a negative pressure uh, contraction in your core, your TVA, your transverse abdominals. Those are your underneath lying muscles, underneath your abdomen, um, where you see that six pack, those abdominal muscles. These are the corset muscles that hold everything underneath that all together. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this in, we're gonna bring this up, and we're gonna squeeze as hard as we can after we breathe out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, and then breathe out. And then pull up. I'm still starting out over again. My muscles are still really tense. They're not supple. They're not used to contracting in that way. So it takes me a couple times to get warmed up. I usually do it for about five, five times. I'll try to work up and hold it for up to 15 to 25 seconds. So the best way to start out when you're doing your vacuum training is to actually do it laying on the floor with your back pressed against the ground. And make sure you keep your feet flat on the ground here. So breathe in, breathe out. how I pretty much start my day three to four times a week right now and then after I'll get up and I'll do my cardio in the morning do some ab rolling out do some leg raises um, really get that core activated for the day really how I'm adding that extra little bit to my routine these days and uh, hopefully I'll just get a lot stronger and a lot more uh, a good stable base from there okay so I just had my first meal of the day, which is one egg and two egg whites and a quarter bit of oatmeal. Getting ready to go to the gym. I decided to answer a couple questions that I posted up on my Instagram at q &A. So let's answer some of those first. This one says, what is it like to have such a busy lifestyle and still manage to be a baddie? <laughs> well, a busy lifestyle, it's you just got to do what you got to do at this point. You know, get your meals in, uh, going to work, having a physical job, lifting, it's about time management, just focusing on what you can get done in a day and still leaving that room for time error. Question number two is what's meal prep? So meal prep is this as simple as it can be. It's just prepping your meals for the day, knowing what you're going to eat throughout the entire day and having it prepared for you. I generally like to prepare most of my meals on Sundays. I go grocery shopping then, cook everything up, and then put them into Tupperware containers of portion sizes that I need for my macros. And then have them in the freezer and just pull them out, put them in the fridge the next night um, or the night before. And then that way all your meals are prepared and ready for you. You don't have to spend so much time cooking at the end of every night if you have a really busy schedule. Question number three is how to get toned for summer. Yes, because it is March and summer is on its way. Well, spring is on its way. And everyone's starting to think about going out and summer beach bodies. That is a very detailed question. How to get toned for summer. So people think getting toned is losing the body fat 
so you can see the muscles underneath. But I believe that you need to build a solid foundation underneath your skin. You need to build shape in your muscles first. So you need to go through a period of time where you're not in a caloric deficit, you're in a caloric uh, surplus minorly. So you can build up some muscle, build up some strength and really build the underlying foundation of what you're going to see in the summer. So then after, once you've changed your body composition, you can start slowly putting yourself in a caloric deficit. And that's where you will start peeling away a little bit of the layers. Uh, you will have a lower body fat percentage and your muscles will start to pop and look. And then that will give you that toned look that everybody wants for summer. So build first and then shred later. Next question is how to do easy car repairs like oil changes and brakes. I will be showing you throughout the course of my little mini series. I will be showing you different ways on how to your car with maintenance, how to do oil changes, how to check your oil, how to change a flat tire, how to check your tire pressures. I'll be showing you guys a lot of those different things. So keep the ball rolling with all of those questions and I'll dedicate a little bit of time on each video on how to do a little bit more with your vehicle so you can have a safer, more efficient ride and just a little bit of extra knowledge just to help you out. What's my PR deadlift? This is a good one. So I love deadlifting and I love picking a weight off the floor, really heavy weight. Pre-surgery, I was up to, and this is fasted at seven o'clock in the morning, super pumped about this one. I managed to pull 335 off the ground. This one's a tough one. My dream car. I love so many different cars for so many different things. I don't think I have a favorite dream car. It was an Oldsmobile Alero. I had a blue one. I wanted to put a body kit on it. I wanted to put a wing on it. I wanted to put a camber kit on it. I loud exhaust. And at the time, like that was my dream. Where I love GTRs, the R35. Something all wheel drive, really loud. Um, taking that around the track was great. <laughs> Here we go, making Philly on, getting ICs on, flexing, mmm, I've been swerving, make it trendy, we look sexy. Here we go, making Philly on, getting ICs on, flexing, mmm, I've been swerving, make it trendy, we look sexy, on. Uh. It's so icy, 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 on my neck, combination, set up, got you, I'm this way, I'm really jacked, don't sit on top, she breaking good, life is good, has no on, he just saw in a gamer, for better life, for better life. Let's be straight, enemies, match for take me cardio, terminate, your pride by my shores, like a dream in a true shit, I'm a man, yo, making really on, getting icy zone, flexing, mmm, I've been swerving, make it trendy, we look sexy, here we go, making really on, getting icy zone, flexing, mmm, I've been swerving, make it trendy, we look sexy. favorite corner so going to this gym for a while
Okay guys, sorry I couldn't finish the Q&A, so I hope you enjoyed some gym stuff, but uh, yeah, kind of got distracted here with pulling this uh, Subi block apart. And stay tuned in the next video, maybe we'll go through a little bit of the process of this. See y'all in the next one!